Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial of Skybox Blender, an asset that lets you smoothly transition between skyboxes under the one condition that they are cube maps. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to set up and get started using the system. As you can see in my scene right here, I've got this only, I've made this island with one skybox, fixed skybox that doesn't transition or do anything. So let's ch change this. I'll start off by creating an empty game object, add component, skybox blender. In this first section, the skybox materials, you'll be adding all of the skyboxes that you want to transition to, or will be using. So I'll add all of the skyboxes here. So I'll lock the inspector. Remember that that the uh, the Q, uh, the uh, materials of the skyboxes need to be cube maps. So see the shader skybox slash cube map of the skybox material. So I'll be adding the two other skyboxes. and the last one. Right, the second property is self-explanatory. If you want the first skybox, this one, to be the default skybox instantly, so just press on it. Like this, but nothing happened because this skybox is actually the default one. So yeah. The second option is the blend options. Uh, how fast you want the blending to become, the time to wait, we'll get the, to this one later, and loop, whether you want to loop the skyboxes or not. Do you want to update the lighting and the reflections while blending? Uh, I do, so yeah. Update every frame's property, and whether you want to rotate the skybox while blending. So, how, how, how do we get this all working? I've added the skyboxes, so what else is missing? What's missing is to actually trigger the system to transition. So, we'll be, uh, I've made this API, the script, sorry, which when I click on space, blending should occur, right? But what's, what's the actual API? Now, in the documentation of Skybox Blender, there you go, this is the API. These two parts explain how you can use them. You can either uh, pass a boolean as the first parameter or an index. The boolean is by default set to false. If you set it to true, the blending will happen to the next uh, skybox only, with no other transition. And then when you cl when you uh, trigger the uh, API again, it'll go to the next one, and then the next one, and so on and so forth. But it, by default, it's false. So if you simply call blend like this, so for instance, skybox dot blend what will happen is the the skyboxes will transition from this one to, to the second to the third automatically so let me show you so now I'll start the game I'll hit space oops I forgot to edit yep now if I press space, automatically it'll go, It's you see, it's going through all of the lists, automatically. So yeah, the time to wait is how many, t how many seconds you want to wait between each transition. So for example, if I set it to 2, click again, it'll wait 2 seconds, and then you see? So yeah. Uh, so what if we want a single transition? We don't want the system to automatically go through all of the list. We want a single transition. So we'll simply call blend and pass in uh, true. Now when I click space, only a single transition will happen. You see, it stops, nothing else. To go to the next skybox, we need to call it again. So if I call it again, then it'll transition. Plain and simple. Right. There's also the second part of the API, which is instead of inserting a boolean, we can insert an index. What type, uh, I mean, which index of the skybox you want to 
jump to. So for example, let's say I want to reach this last one. Let me do this. I want to reach the last one, which is night. So I can simply go one. So zero, one, element one. Uh, sorry, I, I, uh, I said I wanted to go to the night one, which is two. Zero, one, two, yeah. So now it'll jump from the main one to this one, to the last one. You see? Now, both, both parts of the APIs have a second parameter, which is rotation. It also takes, as you can see, it also takes a boolean, whether you want to enable rotation or not. So let's take a simple example. We'll use this, the same index, we'll pass in true. When you pass in true to the API, that means it'll be, which is rotation stuff, so it'll read from the rotation section in the inspector. So uh, I want it to keep rotating. For example, rotation speed to be, uh, let's say, 10. And I want it to stop rotation on blend finish. You see? So on. So if you uh, pass in the second parameter, which is true, then it'll read the uh, rotation stuff from here. And that's it really. Thank you for watching guys.